Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Solar, Solar Project. Project. And this is my dad, Craig Wolf. And this is my daughter, Angela Summers. How should we feel about those in power who have been bought and paid for by the fossil fuel industry? Should we consider these as acts of treason? That's our topic for today. And we'll be right back. Treason. The climate crisis, or climate emergency, is putting our future at risk. Or to be more accurate, my granddaughter's future. Let's say my daughter's future. How about all species on the planet are at risk? And no, I'm not a scientist, but then I'm not a doctor. And when I'm hurt or feeling sick, I do listen to my doctor and very likely take their advice. So, there is such a thing as a climate scientist. These guys study the history of climate on the planet, what caused changes in the past, and based upon those observations, make their analysis of what is happening to our current climate. And they will also make their best predictions of where our climate is heading. 97% of these climate scientists conclude that our climate is warming and that this is caused by humans. So we start out by destroying the natural world, then for good measure, we toss in altering our climate. This leads to more interesting results, something called tipping points. We don't know when these will occur, but we will know when we've passed them. Is that a good thing? Nope. Unless we like the uncontrolled release of methane gas, from the warming of frozen tundra and from the ocean floor. Methane is 20 to 80 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than CO2. Or the acidification of our oceans, altering their ability to sustain life. Yes, future generations will have a grand old time trying to survive along with all of our other fellow species. So wait. I thought we were talking about treason. Well, scientists are talking about species extinctions, and we may be on that list. Most inform us that we need to change and change fast. Our leaders have heard these warnings for decades, but because of our politics, we have chosen to ignore them. So, what exactly are our leaders ignoring, and why are they ignoring it? They ignore science, and its warnings. Some of our leaders call it a hoax. Some say, well, we know the climate is changing. It always has, but it's not caused by humans. Maybe you should ask your planetary doctor, your climate scientist. They say time is running out on our window of opportunity to act. For every year that we delay, that makes our future that much more grim. And for the treason part? The fossil fuel industry knows solving our climate emergency is not favorable to their business model. They know that to avoid the worst impacts of climate change, they must leave 70 to 80% of their known fossil fuel reserves in the ground. They are quite ready, willing, and able to throw billions of dollars against our efforts to change the world to renewable energy. They create foundations to confuse and lie to the public. Now here's the treason part. And to line the pockets of our leaders, our legislators, to slow and stop the progress for climate solutions. So our leaders are trading the very health of our planet and the ability of many species to survive possibly even the human race, just to curry the favor of the fossil fuel industry. These leaders are committing treason. What is treason? In the dictionary, treason is defined as acting to overthrow one's government or to harm or kill its sovereign. Well, that doesn't apply. 
a violation of allegiance to one sovereign or to one state. That doesn't apply either. Let's look at the last definition from the dictionary. This is the one we want. The betrayal of a trust or confidence, breach of faith, treachery. Make no doubt our leaders are committing planetary treason. Our definition of planetary treason is as follows. The act by a person who betrays their duty to protect the survival of all species and civilization by willfully disregarding science for personal or political gain. This act of planetary treason may be plunging our planet into a spiral of extinction. To avoid such a devastating result depends on how quickly and aggressively we act to the threat. We have risen to threats before in our history. After December 7, 1941, with the bombing of Pearl Harbor, we recognized that this was a true emergency. We stopped building cars in the relative blink of an eye, and instead, we built tanks and planes. The climate emergency is slowly but surely creeping up on us, and its creeping speed is as insidious as it is deceiving. If we fail to act, its impact will be felt like no other in human history. If we fail to act, World War II will pale against the suffering of the planet in a runaway climate emergency. But here's the great news. There are a plethora of solutions to solve our climate emergency. The most comprehensive examination of these solutions can be found at www.drawdown.org. But we must have the political and social will to make the changes needed. And that will only be achieved when we remove those committing planetary treason from elective office and elect real leaders to protect our future. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and you can do that right here. We are a partner with the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City, a technology hub for organizations supporting solutions for the climate crisis. This video is sponsored by the Heartland Renewable Energy Society, working to create a clean, safe, and renewable energy future.